It is Guy's final week right here on the Anchor Desk. Four days and counting to my retirement. Tonight we go back to one of Tucson's most intriguing locations, the Boneyard. This is the Davis Monthan Boneyard. The sights of the old retired aircraft are one thing, the stories behind them quite another. Here in the desert, in this sea of fins, it's no exaggeration to say some of the planes have faces. Others have lost theirs in the name of nuclear treaties. This helicopter certainly has seen better days, the days when President Eisenhower was on board. A couple of aircraft aren't American at all. Their pilots reportedly defected. And then you have the planes that simply deserve props. Some are small, some are jumbo, all covered with sprayed-on latex to keep out the elements, including this F-14 Tomcat that shot down a Libyan warplane in the first Gulf War. Those who have served our nation and their families may find sentimental value in these scraps. Take, for example, this Hercules C-130. June 1, 1972, Vietnam. It delivered a crew and passengers to safety despite losing an engine and taking heavy mortar fire. Little wonder they gave number 7685 an honorary Purple Heart and referred to it as an old friend. I remember the day that we were on location there doing a story mm -hmm. and we were talk talking about the planes and said, I'm, you said, I'm coming back. <laughs> yes. Did you shoot those photos at night or in yeah. the morning? Yeah, at night. So that was, was sunset. Yeah, some of them were at sunset and oh, some in the night. Gorgeous photos with a lot of stories behind them. <laughs>